Hello everybody and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Within where I'm doing a uh, Exalt mission. Uh, so here's the objectives. Eliminate all Exalt forces. Protect the capture area, which is this here I think. Block Exalt's hack attempts by occupying the capture zone. So I guess I can send some people in there. The covert operative can disrupt Exalt comm arrays. Uh, I don't think that's what that is because it's not letting me do anything. That must be the encoder, and that must be the transmitter. Something like that. And there's no meld, and... I don't know what it means by comm arrays, I'm assuming that'll come up later. So, let's get up here. So we're gonna jet boat mode, jet boot mode you. Moving. See what you see right there, my man. Nice jump. Uh, just gonna overwatch right there. Okay, we can get some people up there. And we got Jake with us. Do we, do we got Jake? Did he get hurt? All right, there you are. I was like, wait, what the hell did I do? Not bringing Jake. Okay, let's. Get him behind this full cover. I just feel like if we have like... Why isn't it... Why are you being like this? Okay, there we go. Just please don't let there be any aliens or something. Okay. So nobody's here yet, so it's kind of just letting me set up. I guess I'll set up to just kind of... Kill anything that comes into this point. It'd be great if I could get a heavy with a line of sight, so I'm probably going to put Michaela right there, but it looks like she'll be blocking that space if I do that. So I guess first let me get Jang up in here. I'll move like the wind. I don't know if this is good, having everybody come into one spot. Maybe I should have some people on the bottom floor. What is down here? Oh, maybe that's the comma ray. So let's go look at that. Um, I want Michaela upstairs too because she's a heavy. So I want her yes, being ready to shoot rockets. So she's got two rockets. She's also got two grenades. Which will be a really good thing when I get the alien grenade later. Okay, let's have Peyton and Charity oh, run right up to there. this door. And my covert operative. Uh, will I be putting him in danger if I run around? Heading to that location. I guess let's see what's over here. Okay, we don't see anything, and we can go up the stairs. And... Oh! What's that sound? That was the worst sound I've ever heard. Right, that's that's a comma ray thing or something. Uh, I guess it's Overwatch with you. I guess I need to be really careful with that guy. It's Overwatch with you. Okay, he's probably got like one hit point. <laughs> that is the worst sound. Okay, uh, I take it there just right here, so I should probably get this guy to back up. First, let me see what's in this door, so he doesn't run into a world of hell. Okay. Uh, go into that thing, then. Roger, Dodger. Contact. We finally have a visual oh, hi. confirmation of Exalt's Whoa, those guys look in the like, field, uh... and from the looks of them, Exalt is working quickly to integrate alien genetic material into their troops. Until we note the extent of their capabilities, I would Okay, would I just put him in a bad portion. spot, didn't I? Looks like Exalt deployed a series of communications relays in the area. If our operative can get close enough and access the relay using the encryption keys they acquired from Exalt's data, they should be able to temporarily disrupt the enemy's comm network. Get you over here. 
Yeah, those guys look like thin men in the face. And I guess they kind of confirm that with their, uh... They've been mixing their genetics or something. Okay, we've got that one hurt pretty well. Right, so yeah, coming upstairs was a bad idea, apparently. You can finish him off. Yeah, let's take this full cover and finish him off. Oh. It's less of a chance from here, that's weird. He's down. Nice. Okay, I guess, uh... Let's try to find a way to get people to see. Got it, cover. Good, he'll be good looking over that the rest of the time. I guess Moving. let's get Michaela a little further down here and overwatching. And let's of course move you to a beautiful location. Let's see, what will you see if you go down there? I guess I kind of wasted his jet boots then if I'm not going to use them. I'd also like to get Jang over here. Do they have mechs too if they're using genetics? Uh, let's just have him stay up here. They gotta get up here to win, right? So we might as well guard this area really well. And then uh, maintain protection over our covert agent. So that, this could be a bad turn, but... I feel like after this turn we can hold pretty well. And I said I could disrupt their weapons. Oh nice, that almost killed them. I said I can disrupt their weapons, so I think next turn I can do that. Watch the flanks. Okay, he's an overwatch. I see an overwatch doesn't matter if I can disrupt their weapons. Hello. Commander. Exalt forces are in position to hack the encoder. If we don't secure that equipment, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. Apparently that's a bad thing. They also went right into where I wanted them to be, in range of Michaela's rocket. Hello. Three damage. Okay. We can work with this. Oh, you can shoot! They're my position. Holy crap! Commander, we've got multiple hostiles inbound on Strike One's position. Oh my Any God! Reinforcements are closing in. They're flooding in here. That's a sniper rifle. Oh, beautiful Jake has a shot. Well, this is an easy decision. And I'm um, assuming I don't want to blow that up, so make sure that's not green. Is there any way I can get... Well, I don't really need to get that guy, because he's only got one hit point, so let's do it like... that. Rockets away. And he took it anyway. Very nice. I need to make sure no one kills her next turn, because she's about to die. Let's see, I can punch him. Can anybody just end this for us? Okay, I guess I better hit shift. Actually, let's make this easy. Enemy communications are down. That should keep Exalt busy for a while. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay, there's a... So these things are all over the map. I feel like I could keep their... Uh, their weapons down for quite a while. So let's move you out here for the next one. Yeah, they can't do anything though, right? Okay, I can see him. I might want to prioritize those type of guys. Actually, maybe I want to prioritize the those guys over there. Ah, oh, man, he doesn't have grenades or anything. But maybe it only matters if uh, okay. 
Actually, it said it disrupted if I run in there. Okay. Seventy-one percent, one hundred ninety-six. Let's go with that, I guess. A little overkill, but get him out of this. Almost out of ammo. Yeah, you run out of ammo fast. Ah, oh, dang, we don't have a shot. They're all gonna have to reload. Let's get him in a better, sh better uh, position. Now he can shoot down there too. Nice. See him, let's headshot him. Oh god, he's got one hit point. I feel like that's a waste of Jake's shot, one hit point. Let's get rid of this guy then. Dead and gone. Is that everybody? Yep. They're all gonna have to run around and uh Reload their weapons. I guess they could still hack this. Yep, they can't do anything. That's good. And my other guy is in position to hit that again, so. Need to find some new cover. Who does? Just run upstairs, my man. There's a punch to the face waiting for you. Okay, well apparently, uh... <laughs> 100% but he's only got one hit point so I don't think so. People do need to reload though. Moving to position. Just to get him just a little closer preparing for later. I'd probably rather get the kill with somebody else. Oh there's a... oh that's Michaela. She really needs healed. I guess I'd rather get the kills with him. Punched. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's gonna damage that. Oh, not enough ammo to do that. Whoops, that's embarrassing. Um locked and loaded. Guess if I can't get rid of everybody this turn, I will hack their weapons again. Let's see if I can get an angle on that guy. I also need to get her up to Michaela to heal her, if I can. Uh, well he's open now. Alright, let's try to take him out. Out of ammo here. Oh, I missed my mark. Yeah, I saw. Okay, let's, uh... How much effort is it going to take to get you upstairs? Too much. On the move. Let's try to do something to this guy. Alright, he'll be easy to kill now. Um... So she can still move right now. So let's get her behind some cover. 66, 76. I guess let's go for him. So there's only one guy alive up here. I'm gonna wait to use this for a turn where it's a little more desperate. And hopefully he gets this kill. Nice. Bye okay, so there's only one guy. And he's earned a promotion. Oh wait, Jake's alive. Let's see if we have an angle on the guy from this spot. Jake can pistol him to death. Nope. 
Oh, going to Overwatch. Hopefully Michaela doesn't get shot at. Hopefully he shoots at the mech. I would have punched him, but... Okay, he did two damage. That's not bad. Whoa! Snipers. Commander, we've got additional exalt forces moving on the AO. Jake's watching with a pistol, unfortunately. But you're dead. You ran right up to one of my people. A lot of snipers. Oh, hello. You're probably dead. Because you're flanked. Thank God they don't drop into Overwatch like the aliens tend to do. Do you see anybody? Yes. Go ahead and take the shot, buddy. And that's what you get for running into a position like that. Alright, uh... Wow, I... I really want to punch this guy, but I don't want to destroy that. So I'm just going to shoot you. That had to hurt. 11 damage. <laughs> nice work, Lieutenant Christy. Okay, she sees two people, both at 63%. Might get a better look from another spot. She also needs to come up here and heal people. And if Michaela doesn't get this kill, she's dead. So let's ensure it, shall we? Dead and out of ammo here. <laughs> nice. Um I feel like they're all gonna have to run up here to do anything anyway, so what I'm gonna try to do is dash charity man, she can run so far in a turn. I'm going to run over here so I can try to heal Michaela next turn. And I still don't need to use the comm relay thing because I feel like they're not going to be able to get a useful turn in here. I guess they can probably try to shoot up. Let's reload with you and prepare. Let's see. Let's see if you see anything from there, but... Yeah, you do. Okay. Let's see what you can do here, and then you're gonna have to reload. Nice. Need a resupply. Uh, I don't feel like I need to hack. And he's got quite a few hit points. I don't know what's giving him that. Maybe he brought some body armor. Oh dang, he did that same damage right back. Okay, well, this guy, if he's got uh, the same promotions our people can get... Okay, he, he moved twice. So he's going to run up and die to the mech, to Brian. Oh, you're getting punched, buddy. You are getting punched. Unfortunately, Austin's not on this mission. He could really rack up the kills, I feel like. Okay, I'm going to have you run up to this cover and reload. Good to go. And, uh, assuming this is all that's happening. Position confirmed. My god. He ran onto the wrong roof, my man. It's over. I hope he flies off. Oh, this flames are in my way. Oh, <laughs> we still got a good view. Okay, uh... You run over here and heal. She has never got a chance to reload. She's been running around all day. Well, it looks like Michaela's going to be in the hospital for a long time again. And let's just put you on Overwatch. And having the having Brian just stay up there wreaking havoc is just ridiculous. 100% shot. This better work. Nice. Man, we've uh, we've killed a lot of people. Humans. 
Feels Looks great. Like this is the I guess they're half uh, aliens, we just need to hold out a little since they're longer. using their genetics. Kind of like, uh, I mean, technically Jake and uh, my assault that's in the hospital are mixing their genes up with them. It's for the greater good. Well, he's flanked. But then again, I can just disable your weapons whenever I feel like it. Oh, hi. You're dead. Another one dropping in? Where are you? Oh, there's two over here. Okay, I might have to disable their weapons for sure then. Let's see, we got... 100% on that guy way over there. Let's take that. Yeah, let's do as much damage as we can, I guess. And... Let's see, 68, 62, how about you? They could probably run right down there and have nearly guaranteed kills. Yes. Not everybody dies here, I'm gonna have to deactivate their weapons, which doesn't seem like a problem to me. Alright, Michaela, get down here and do this. Go around on this side, that way you can get behind that pillar next turn for full cover. It's gonna have to be a crit to kill him. Yep. Okay, gonna have to, uh... Gonna have to deactivate the weapons. I'm gonna see if he sees anything useful when he runs over here. I'm on it, Commander. How intimidating would this be? Like, we gotta climb that to get to this computer. Oh, there's a uh, huge mech up there that's preventing us from doing it. And you missed. I have no ammunition. Well, I don't feel like anybody might die this turn. I am but... ready. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want you to do that. Okay, well. Guess I'll shoot him with a pistol. Got him. And I guess you're going to do this. It's been a little buggy on when I left click, so I'm just the afraid. Okay. It'll take some time for them to get it running again. Well, now that they can't do anything, I might as well make a mad dash for the other one. I don't think there were any over here, so. There's one right there. Did I? Yeah, I haven't done this one yet, so I'm gonna run in here. And the other one's way over here. How many waves are there? Uh, yeah, you're gonna run right there. I could have shot with him, I guess, but I'd rather just get to the next one. <laughs> that sound effect was just horrible. Oh, he's a medic. Oh, that sucks. I don't like them healing themselves. Okay, people are dying. Well, Jake, I'll probably have you shoot this guy down here if nothing else can happen. But we're probably going to have Brian punch him. Oh, yeah, we can have Brian punch him. Since he's always out of ammo. Really? I got a dash to get back up there? Okay, well, if I need to. Let's see, Charity's got him flanked. Or Brian can shoot it. No, he can't shoot at all. Okay, Brian's coming and punching this guy. Position confirmed. This is our roof, man. I don't know. How many of your friends have to come up here and die before you people realize this? Getting in close. My god. Is that move overpowered on a map like this? Where, like, they're forced to run up to him and that thing never really cools down? Whatever's going on with it, I love it. Okay, let's... Yeah, well, let's get you up here. Heal her again. 
Okay, she's fully back up to her full status. Let's see. Could hollow target that guy if Jake even needs it. Uh, might pull her around here to make sure that she. Uh, what is Jake's odds? 97. Well, it can't hurt shooting at this guy. Oh man, he hit him. 55% odds. Unfortunately, Peyton really needs to reload, so. And that gives Jake 100%. Take You're a beautiful care. man. Okay, let's. Uh, I mean, we can't kill him, so we're gonna have to be careful. And her running out around down there is just asking for it. Can I get right there and be perfectly fine? Oh my god. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have her do that. And then now, from now on, I'm gonna have her run around on the top of the roof shooting down at people. But let's switch your weapon and reload it. Reloaded. So you can do that. And he can see him. So he could potentially die next turn, but let's just tag him. I don't think he'll kill him. It's a heavy, by the way. I guess he could rocket him. He's got a rocket launcher. Okay, he took two moves. Please tell me you're climbing the building. Oh! Wow! How many kills is Brian going to get? Okay, I guess here what I'm going to do is make sure... I give the person the kill who I want to have it. Michaela's already a major, but I don't have a colonel yet. And Brian you can just go punch him off the roof. Yeah, you know what? I want to get Brian promoted. Get this mech promoted through the roof. Speaking of roof... Engaging close quarters, target. That's it, Commander. <laughs> the transmitter is secure. And it looks like that was the last of Exalt's Wow, that was easy. Excellent that was work. ridiculous. Alright, well, on to the base. Oh, I just have Brian running around up there punching guys. Never even needed ammo. Okay, but a couple people did get seriously hurt. Michaela was one of them. And she's gone for six days. Thank God for that one uh, upgrade I bought. Everybody got promoted, but Charity is unfortunate. Which means we have a colonel in the zone. Killing a flank or uncovered target with the sniper rifle does not cost an action. Uh, see, the thing is, with Jake being squad sight, I don't think he'll use in the zone very much compared to a snapshotter because he's going to be sitting in the same spot most of the time and he can't adjust his position to take advantage of this. So for him, I'm going to give him double tap. That way he's got guaranteed two shots when I use this. And let's face it, with him, that's probably two deaths, especially when I get a better rifle for him. And with the squads, or with the snapshotters, I will give them in the zone, because they can move around and flank people and uh, get a lot of free shots. So that's going to be great when that happens. And uh, Michaela got promoted to Colonel anyway. I guess I wasn't paying attention to that. So it allows one additional standard rocket to be fired per battle. Mayhem confers additional damage based on weapon tech, level 2 suppression, and all area effect abilities. I'm not really using her as suppression. I'll probably give Jang or another hollow targeting heavy that one, but I'm going to give her another rocket. So there we go. And little Bri Bri is now a captain. Repair servos confers 2 health recovery at the start of each turn. A total of six health can be regenerated per battle. Hmm. He has been in that one mission on the train. He came really close to dying. It would have been nice then, but that mission, he didn't get hurt at all, I don't think. And expanded storage allows additional use of restorative mist, grenade launcher, proximity mine launcher in each mission. Oh yeah, I think I like that one. Increase ammo. Yeah, we're going with that. Okay. Let's see. He's got... Uh, his aim is still kind of bad, but apparently it doesn't matter when you can just run around and punch people. Okay. 
I think I'm gonna go with the danger zone for him instead of Grenadier because he suppresses. So there we go. And we have a new cap or another captain. Uh, let's see, since she's a she is a snapshotter, I'm gonna go with opportunist. And there we go. We only got one injury, but it's a colonel. But six days doesn't seem so bad anymore. Defender's medal. Oh, and uh, the operative got promoted. So, uh, let's see. Smoke grenades. I can't help but want to bring med kits all the time instead of smoke. Although I have been using it a decent amount. Um, let's see. I feel like I've got enough medics. So let me try this then. Wow, seriously? <laughs> he got promoted twice. Wonderful. Okay, then. I do like the suppression. And I'm not... This is a no-brainer here since I didn't give him the med kits. Let's just go with that. Okay. Exalt Intelligence. We got some of their weapons. The intel we recovered they better than mine? To take down the rest of Exalt's cell. Unfortunately, it looks like this was just a small part of their wider-reaching clandestine operation. We did manage to find some clues as to the location of Exalt's headquarters, though. If we can track down more of their cells and collect additional intel, we'll be able to narrow down the possibilities and take out Exalt once and for all. Okay. Uh, okay, we're coming up on the end of the month here, and I've got to make a decision on what country I'm going to lose. So, what about the Exalt missions? Oh, here we go. I can spend 50 bucks to do an intel scan. So it looks like it's not in any of these countries. It's not in an English speaking country, okay. Did I get money from that or did I sell that earlier? I don't even remember. we do this and I can make more money in the long run or something? Central here. No. Uh, no, we're what? tracking several contacts, but nothing like that. Okay. Alright, we'll look into it. Yeah, thank you. Since this month is about to end, didn't it say something about... Executing a worldwide intel sweep will cost $50. Intel Sounds scan fine. complete. Positive ID on Exalt cell locations. Brazil. Covert operation. Okay, let's see our soldiers. I don't want to send Jake. I would love to send uh, Sergeant Ryan, but she's wounded for another three days. And you know what? Whiskey, where are you? Yeah. Whiskey, you did really well. So you're going. Since he's a, a lieutenant now, I need to make him somebody I know in real life, but... Uh, what are you, a support? Well, let's get your loadout correct. Okay, laser pistol frag. Yeah, I like that. Not that it, my god, his aim is good, and his will is pretty good for a lieutenant. Assistant. Whatever it is they're doing, they're not giving up without a fight. Yeah, you're going. I'll customize them later. Okay, off to Brazil then, to learn some more information. Uh, let's go. You know what, let me go ahead and launch these satellites. Uh, I guess I'm going to lose out on the European bonus, maybe. Let me do the no-brainers. Satellite launched. Satellite launched. Okay. Now, do I want future combat, or do I want expert knowledge? Uh, I don't exactly remember what each one does, to be honest, but I think this one has to do with foundry upgrades, and this one has to do with labs and workshops being cheaper and cheaper to maintain. Actually, I still need, need to buy all of that, so that might be better. Weapons in particular. So I think what I'm going to go with is that France gives me 20 more bucks a month than Australia, so I think that's gonna make my decision for me there. I'd like to get the United States in since they're 180 bucks a month, but 
since no one's panicking over there, I kind of am forced to make this decision to not lose them. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum. Okay, so I need to make sure I get some interceptors over Asia now. What's going on down there? Tell those guys we can't have them bringing down the walls in the name of prototype testing. And so, yes, let's order Asia to get a couple interceptors. There you go. That's going to make me almost out of money. I guess when they arrive is when I get it. <coughs> oh no, there it kicked in right there. I've got 21 bucks, and I've got $763 a month coming in, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I guess... Let's see, we got medals, right? Urban combat, uh, plus five defense when in cover. Let's give it to somebody. What has he already got? I don't even know anymore. Does... Okay, looks like uh, Charity's got it. Brian's got it. Peyton's got it. So why not? Let's decorate Jake a little more, shall we? Congrats. You burned it. Sure. I don't even know if he needs any more defense. I'm just giving these things out like candy now. Let's see. Defender's Metal. Medkits and Restorative Mist. Heal 2 HP more when used on the soldier. Okay. So we should probably give this to somebody that's a little more close to the front. And I will give it to you for that reason. Congrats. Hey, you don't look so wounded to me. Oh, look at her skin kind of flashed there. That's nice. Okay, Council Medal of Honor. Plus 10 aim and crit chance if not within seven, seven tiles of an allied unit. I mean, does Jake even need this? Yes. Yes, he does. Just to make him overpowered as hell. And if I lose him, I'm probably going to cry in real life. Okay. I appreciate your efforts One day to until that's done. Team Very nice. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Oh, good for you. Because what have we got in the gray market now? What, what do these do? I'm going to see... If uh, on the next mission I'll try to bring them and see if they do more damage or something. Uh, they probably don't do any more than the laser weapons, but they might do more than mine. So, okay. Yeah, let's see what this is getting me. Satellite Nexus available. Oh, yeah! The Satellite Nexus makes it so I can do more satellites than the regular uplinks do. Oh, beautiful. Yep, four satellites plus one, so that'll be five total. Which, I don't know if that'll matter, considering... Okay, we got 11, 24 for that, my god. Oh, come on. Well, let's do the Illyrium. 11 days doesn't seem so slow to me, compared to some of the other stuff I've done. Uh, what was I complaining about back there? Eh, I'll remember later. Was it the, no, it wasn't the research. Oh, yes. The satellite uplink. Actually, maybe I should get this access lift going. Actually, since I pay maintenance for the lifts, I'm going to wait until the very beginning of the month to put that in. So, here we go. Might get to the end of the month here. And there. Transmission. Commander. Unfortunately, one of our members has chosen to discontinue their involvement in the XCOM project. Yes, that sucks. Australia is gone. Excellent work, Commander. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. So, if I put in a satellite nexus, I can support five satellites, which means I can get, get them all over w but one. So, I'm going to prioritize, I guess, finishing Europe now, and 
getting North America covered, even though they're not really in danger yet, but uh, we never know what's going to happen. And then uh, Africa, I'm not so concerned since I already get the bonus, but uh, I'm not going to try to lose them or anything, so here we go. We will be in touch, Commander. So, I've got my monthly income now, so let's get the hell out and spend this crap. Okay, 744. The new engineers arrived this morning, Maybe Commander. two engineers. We're always glad to have more help down here. I bet you are. Oh yeah, and I've still got enough for... How much is the Illyrium generator? A ton of money. And a ton of uh, stuff. UFO power source. But it provides 30 power. Which is a thermo generator. 20. I'm not really in danger of that. I definitely need this. That's a no-brainer. And then I'm going to need to excavate. So, yeah. Let's, uh... How much for a laboratory? $125. Yeah, let's get that in there. And let's put in the Illyrium generator if we can afford it. It's not necessary yet, and I can put a thermo generator in there for cheaper, right? Two hundred dollars. Well, it's not that much cheaper. This one's basically just cost a lot of materials. So yeah, yeah. Let's uh, make it so we don't have to worry about power for quite a while. Then I'll excavate, put in some workshops and labs, and there we go. So already down to two hundred ninety-four. That's how I do it. Uh, oh yes. Do we want... Okay, lead by example would be good. But let me see if I'd rather spend my money in other ways. I want to get those firestorms up. And maybe I should consider switching to Phoenix cannons on everything. Wait. I actually have to build the Phoenix cannons. Oh, I need seeker wrecks for those ghost grenades. Okay. And I need a lot of chrysalid corpses for all this stuff, which I would like to build these. Uh, they're pretty expensive. They must have upgraded how much that costs. Well, let's buy at least one of those. Okay, we can have two. I'm gonna buy two. Good thing I kept those floaters. Oh, yes, and I should consider building satellites in a satellite nexus. I uh, see, it takes 20 days, so I need to make sure I do it on something like the 7th or 8th. That I, I start that on the 7th or 8th. So I'm going to try to remember that and I not do it yet. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Who's still hurt? Two people. Michaela and Austin. <laughs> Alright, well, my invisible girl's back. And when Austin becomes a major, I'm going to make him invisible. Is there anybody I'd like to give uh, genetics to? I feel like I'd like to give Jake the legs. So, how much does that cost? Twenty-five and sixty. Hmm. I'm gonna wait until... I know I've got the melt because that's 65 for this skin, and I want to make sure Austin gets that for sure. So uh, I'm going to wait there. And I probably want to make another mech at one point, but I don't want to spend all my money already. So, let's see. Yeah, back to engineering and going to probably build some phoenix cannons. I guess I need four now. It's 80 bucks and nothing else, so just money. So that's not much of a problem. Let's go back to the hangar and put that on the ships that don't have them. Just the UFOs are going to get to the point where I need to use these more powerful weapons. So, 
Oh, yeah, that's why I got four. Um, I'm gonna wait here because of... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Okay, so... I guess I need one more then. Yeah, I'm over five continents now. Okay, so I need one more in a day. I don't want to do it yet anyway, because if they're both unavailable and a UFO shows up, I'm screwed. And I've got the dodge. So, engineering, let's go uh, build one more. the hell is it? There we go. Just for later. Okay, we got enough of that. Might want to use a second arc thrower eventually. Second medikit, possibly. Oh yeah, I need a foundry. Do I already have one? Laboratory. No, I'll have it come in down here for the workshop bonus. Okay. But yeah, that'll be nice once I get that going. Alright, I feel good. Very good about that. So, on to the next mission. It's satellites operational soon. Covert operation again. Very nice. Commander, what? we're detecting a new contact. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. I recommend oh. we scramble our best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Well, these are my uh, only equipped interceptors, right? Well, hopefully the Phoenix Cannon paid off. Talk about time. The enemy is padlocked. Of course, I guess I had one with it on there. Okay, probably gonna have to dodge. Because they gotta get in close to use the Phoenix Cannon. Dodge. Bring it down. Okay, we brought it down. It was right, I aborted right at the same time as it brought it down. Whew. Okay, let's send it. Okay, this being a UFO, of course I said it was a really big one, so it might be the big one, and that's a lot tougher than the smaller ones, so maybe I want to bring the A-team. But, uh, Jake's already a colonel. So is Michaela, so they don't really need to be promoted. Of course, that they're also my best. And Michaela's back, I think that means Austin's back. So let me clear everybody and make a decision based on who I want trained. And Austin, you there? Yes, he's here. But, yes, let's bring Jake. I guess let's bring Jake and Michaela anyway. Just because this is probably going to be tough. And yeah, let's bring the mech, Brian. And, uh... I want to bring my invisible girl. I guess she's going to be the, uh, the weaker one, being a sergeant. edit this one, by the way. I guess we'll make this Brian's girlfriend. Holy crap, I don't remember her last name. I guess we'll keep it at Ryan for now. <laughs> I feel horrible. Um, let's see, we're gonna switch this. Let's see, she's a doctor. Went to Oklahoma for that. So I guess we'll call her, uh... I would call her Doc, but she's not a, a support, so... I guess we'll call her Sooner for being from there. Or was it Oklahoma State? I don't know, I feel like... I think it was Oklahoma. Okay. Now let's just leave it at that for now. Okay. Nice. So we got this group. We need to bring Austin to get him promoted. So you're going in, no-brainer. Always ends up going back to the old look. There we go. Wait, no, you need care base armor. Okay, make all items available. That button's nice. It wasn't there in Enemy Unknown, and you always had to go find who had it. 
seems a little ridiculous. Okay, now's my chance to see if these are better. 3 to 5, 25% crit chance, crit 6 to 8. Exactly the same, so I can just sell them. Wait, did I just... Yeah, exactly the same, so... I can just sell them, I guess, even though they're only a dollar a piece. Better than nothing. Uh, yeah. Do you even need a sniper? Not really. He's got 109 aim. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spend more money. You know it. I want to get these respirator implants for my uh, snipers, since they're going to be away from the action. Maybe not Austin, but Jake definitely is going to be wearing one. When did I go there? UFO crash site. Yes, let's do this. And it automatically switched, didn't it? Is this who I want? Basically, I added in Charity, and I think I agree with bringing her, so... Or should I bring in a second... Heavy? You know what? No, I shouldn't. I've already got Michaela, and I've got Brian the Mech, so let's bring a support for medic reasons. Here we go. Okay, you're getting your armor, laser weapons, and uh, you're bringing the medikit. And let's see, you're bringing the grenades. Can't wait till I get the alien grenade for her. Now Jake, his aim is at 110 plus 10, so I feel like that's overkill bringing the, bringing the scope, because even his penalty is down to 100 uh, damage. So we're giving him the respirator implant. Also somebody, you, is bringing an arc thrower. You're just the best for the arc thrower. And Austin's not going to bring a scope either. He's also going to get a respirator implant. I think it increases their hit points too or something. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and look up how to in, uh, upgrade the suit here. It's going to take up too much time if I don't do that, so I'll be right back. Okay, uh... I must not have had the funds earlier, and that's why this wasn't letting me do it. So, we're going back. Engineering, build upgrade mech. And yes, we go to this one and upgrade it to a part two. So, do we want medkits require fine motor control? Let's get sprite restorative mister here on... Okay, so I guess I'd have to give him a medikit for that. But I think I'd rather give him the grenade launcher. We got a pretty good medic already that runs around. Uh, we don't need a new mech uh, yet, although I think I'm going to make one of my many supports a mech, because I just don't feel like I need as many as I have. So uh, let's go in here, you have a crash site, and we got a covert operation coming in one day, so we want to try and keep everybody here from going to the hospital. At least Austin, we need to get him to major. And I think we're good now. Do I need to give you grenades or something? Nope. Oh, thank God. Alright, nice. He should have a lot of grenades because I gave him that one upgrade that uh, lets him uh, use more grenades or something like that. So this is the team. Uh, yeah, got Sergeant Ryan. And I think I would like this or something, maybe two heavies once I feel it out. But this might end up my A-team. But once we get Austin with his uh, being able to be invisible and move around and even half cover invisible, that'll be nice. So let's launch. Prepare for deployment, strike one. Okay. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. Yeah, this is the big it looks like we got lucky. UFO. The alien crash site is in a remote area, away from any major city centers. 
And this one's, uh, I remember it being difficult in Enemy Unknown, which is why I didn't want to bring any squaddies or anything. This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. Yeah, it doesn't look the same, but it's a huge one, so it's probably similar. And there's a melt container. It's just like the U other UFO uh, crash missions. It's just a really big one, so I think it's got more uh, enemies on it. But hopefully this is our chance to catch a muton. But I'm going to stop the video here, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.